The skip ball challenge is a great challenge to work on longer distant passing that will get to your teammates just a little bit faster because it's not rolling on the ground the entire way, right? There's less air friction than there is ground friction. So what you're doing here is really looking at a driven ball. This is slowed down so you can kind of see it a little bit uh, clearer. You take a touch out to the side at an angle again so you can step into the ball. You don't want to hit dead balls, right? You want to prepare the ball like you would in a game. So it's a short takeaway, a short follow through. You're looking to strike just below the bottom half of the ball so you get under it just a little bit. And then you the follow through is just short so the ball skips in there, right? So the first two would have counted because they only hit the ground once before it crossed the goal line, right? That one that just came in, the next two skipped twice. So it's just a little bit slower. Um, depending on your level, your ability with this, you can put a two skip limit and count and count these balls, right? But you can see they're coming in low. You want them to skip once. And if there was a teammate at the back of this goal, these balls would be very easy to receive, right? So they're user friendly. They're easy for your teammate to be able to receive the ball in a game, take a touch and continue possession or attack for whatever it has to be. Just that little bit faster before your opponent can step up and close that space right so again looking to improve your technique to faster pay, pace make it paying it very close attention to where you're striking the ball your ankle being locked and your toe pointed away and changing that challenge level however you need right enjoy this is a very fun skill have some fun out there keep track and always trying to get better